Guys, I got a uh, little surprise for you. You guys don't know yet because uh, the title just says Navigator or whatever I'm going to title it. But that's right. Uh, that's right. Stupid focus, but yeah. We, me and my dad, we drove the Navigator home. Uh, my dad said he drove it a lot today. Uh, he said he put he put he said he put almost he put almost like a hundred miles on it. So, like I said, he went to Wabash and back. It's got a misfire because I know I uh, when we were heading back from car recyclers and stuff or whatever it had it has a hesitation to it, but yep, still got pretty good antifreeze in it. Um, yeah, it, it's not, on, it's not on the seam no more, but it rises up like that when it's running because, you know, all the heat and stuff, but the keys are in it. Yes, those lights are on. It still thinks the trunk's open, but my dad wants them left on, but they do turn off in like 10 minutes, but I'm going to do a little startup on it, but yeah, my dad uh, did a little cleaning to the inside. Not much. He didn't do it all. He put some mothers on some stuff. He didn't do it. He didn't do every single one. Put a tree in it. AC's working good still. But yeah, he cleaned it a little bit. Definitely. Definitely needs clean some more. All the door panels need scrubbed real good. Cause they're they're pretty bad. But. It says 95 out, but... I can kind of feel the misfire here. Not gonna rev it, though. Yeah, my dad put about... I think he... It filled it up, but he says he stopped at like 60, I think, but... Yeah, it, it went pretty high. Which is shocking for me because I didn't think it was going to go nowhere near that high. So I, that shocked me. But. Yeah, I guess some, some of my friends texting me on Snapchat because I just got it. But. Yeah. Patrol the window down past or driver's window. Yeah, it's supposed to thunderstorm eventually. I don't know when though I don't know if it's supposed to start today or tomorrow. Yeah, definitely need to get a battery because you know, there's uh, still got acid on it Other than the little misfire it sounds pretty good Lights are on automatic My dad said that one's not LEDs. He says something different, but I don't know if he's gonna I don't know if he's worried about it really strong yeah coolant it probably went a little low from because uh, it probably still has some stuff to fill up but it's a winner it was a great success on this you guys can see it that's acid not water yeah the freaking battery tie down is rusty But it's still got coolant in it. It's got great pressure on it. Pretty good. Uh, here. Might fix the fog lights, I'm not sure. You know, all the work my dad and grandpa put into this, or I should say all the money, it's definitely worth uh, driving it again. Put it back on the road, man. It's not... It's not meant to get set, sat, but now it's not going to sit. Because, you know, my dad owns it now. And I know I bought it too, but it's going to be his winter beater. But he, kinda, he said something about driving it in the summer too. Because he wants to try to keep, 
because you don't want to keep putting a buttload of miles on this truck. It's like, it's like at 288,000 right now. And plus, he wants to drive this until he gets the AC compressor replaced in his. Because this thing's got good AC in it. I'll turn that on right now. I bet once the windows are worked a little bit, they'll get faster. Rear air works. A 500 RPM she's running at. Or 600 out. You guys are seeing from this angle 600, but right here, still 600. Yeah, it's 600 RPMs. But, yep. Yeah, the lift gate's working now. Let's go check that out. I'll show you guys what I think the issue is, which I probably told you before. It's probably this one part. And you know, see how rusty that is. And it could be part of this too. And that probably isn't maybe making a good enough connection or whatever makes it uh, since it closed. But whatever senses it closed, it's pr probably not making a connection. I mean, the seats, were, my dad had them up so but you can also push it down oh yeah there we go but i already got it in, insured plated my dad already got it insured and plated and it's already it's already road legal Tra tired title transferred to his name he's good to go now i mean i can drive anytime he wants now the ac it's cold but it gets colder as you move down the road but overdrive definitely works cruise control works still which I figured it did but yeah oh I'll end the video for now no, no, but my dad wasn't yelling at me. I just shut it off. But there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed that surprise. And I'm not titling this video, which you guys will see. I'm not going to title it. The Navi we drove the Navigator home today. But we're going to get some other tires for it. Because these are completely the wrong size. They're 18s. That's what it requires. But the ones that are on it right now are 245 6018s, but it requires 255 7018s. And the speedometer, my dad says, is about like 10 miles off. See, so 70 miles an hour is like uh, about 55, 60. And 60 miles an hour is uh, about 50, 45. Or no, 50 55, I should say. Yeah, it's about like 10 miles off. 10 miles too fast because you know, smaller tires will make it go, go off like that. I think the Rangers is pretty off too, my Ranger. But it's not, doesn't concern me at all that much. But yeah, she's a good one. I mean, it still looks fairly decent from when we pressure washed it. And the drain tubes, the glass company came out and they said that the windshield didn't need replaced, but the drain tubes were clogged. So my dad went over here is this one. And a little bit of crap came out of it, but I don't know. Still have to give it a big test. He, he did the driver's side and I think that one was already good. But... Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens if it pours down rain. Yeah, my dad went to Clark's today in Wabash. I looked for a mirror. They didn't have any navigators like this down there. So. Yeah. Yeah, eventually we'll find a mirror for it. Cause, I mean, this has been like this since uh, my dad bought it four years ago. Oh, there you guys go.